Chapter 2, Part 1, Curiosity Symptoms Oh my goodness, that was close! Where is she? Oh! I hope the guards don't find the sewer. Oh. What's this place? I hope I find Mr. Midnight soon. Okay, finally we made it out of that dastardly, uh, children's asylum. But now we're stuck in the middle of the forest. Looks like a dumping ground. Ugh. Let's see if we can, um, explore some stuff. It can be good to have a cozy place to stay. Ooh, I can make something out of this. Looks like a door. I don't think I need that right now. Dear, you're almost gone. Good thing you're not bleeding. Mr. Midnight, are you in there? Can I take anything else? I know a story about a girl with red shoes and she had a dog. It says Jance. I have no idea why. All oh, this instrument is pretty. Pretty horse. The king would like this one. Guess there's nothing else. Hello, tree. Um, actually, let me see. Do the pills work out here? Huh? What? Oh. Wow, these are very rare leaves. They look a bit sad and old. Curiosity, be darned! Darn you, curiosity! Oh, I like that I'm curious. Otherwise, how will you learn things? Um... What are you? You're kinda curious yourself. What is the right question, but why would be more important? Well, I want a key. I don't have time to chat, sir. I want the key, that's all. Oh, but that key isn't ours? And it's not yours for sure? Um... Just give it to me. I want to know what door it opens. We couldn't care less. The affection toward you is simply none. But I'm Fran. You're honest, I like that. Pleased to meet you. Interesting. Tell us more. Mmm, that's not telling I got a cat. I'm lost, I think. I'm trying to find my cat. Oh, she's still there anyway. Really? Yes, really. Now please, give me the key. Look, person Fran, we came from the south, flying as always. And one of us got curious about this key, then all of us got stuck here. And because of our long hair, we can't get loose. Can I? So you're also curious. Can I help you? We usually get stuck on trees, but we have something to fix that. A beautiful comb to comb our hair every time we get stuck. Um. Okay. But there's a problem. A filthy thief took our comb and now we're stuck forever. If you find the key, the thief and the comb, you get the key. Deal. <laughs> More excuses. What does he look like? It's a rat! A filthy narcissist rat! He took the comb to make himself beautiful! We couldn't do much, so he ran away with it! Please find it and free us from curiosity! Well, I'll try my darndest. We'll be here waiting! Okay. Where is this comb? I don't see anything here that I can... Okay. Wow. This is a really big insect. Oh, wow. You really are a very big ant. Oh, there. Are you real? 
<laughs> I'm not even on the meds. Arr, you always ask the same thing. Always. What do you mean? Always? What do you mean by always? Of course I'm real. Where did you come from? I'm an escaped convict. But please don't tell anybody. I won't tell. Don't worry. But what are you doing here? Uh, my cat is out here somewhere and I have to find him. A cat, you say? A black cat. With very big yellow eyes, Mr. Midnight. Oh, I see. I'm sorry, girl. You haven't seen it? It happens that the cat was eaten, chewed up, and swallowed? What? What do you mean? The black cat that came towards me in a hurry. I catch it. I give it to my beetle pig. My beetle pig is hungry. Oh, my poor beetle pig hasn't had any food in days. No, no poor friend. Blueberry time passed by and we ate them all. Stop it. Can't you see? Mr. Midnight is the only friend I have. Please tell me you're joking. Oh, little girl, don't cry. I can sing for you if you like. What will I do now? You don't know how it feels to be alone. I do, yes. I'm the last one alive. Let me help you, yes? Oh no, not that one. How could you possibly help me? The digestion is not so fast, you know. Maybe he's still alive inside the beetle pig. What should we do? Kill the beetle pig. He is also the only friend I have left, but I need the meat. Uh. Kill your friend? I can do it, yes. Yes. I and Antonio the Greatest shall eat the meat. What? So wait, is it like on the other side of this? Oh no, wait, there is nothing here. Let me keep walking and see if there's something. What kind of bird are you? The sign. Make an entry. Oh well, I can try to open it and see what's inside. Oh, let me get... Let me get this. Terrible axe. Let's axe this up. Yeah! Oh, the bird flew away. Oh, can I take this? Well, I got the... Oh, it's gone. Let me use this. Uh. Shield your eyes, folks. What? Um, excuse me. Oh, he's fallen asleep. I guess he's very old. <laughs> like 30 years old. Ancient. I won't disturb him. Sleep well. well I have to wake him up. Can I, like, tickle his nose? Tickle, tickle. Oh! The throat is great! Great! Oh my gosh. Get up. I think the beetle pig does not like the idea of being killed. Oh, I see, but that's completely normal, isn't it? Well, what should I do then? You have to give him the special berries. The blueberries! Hmm. Where do I find these berries? I shouldn't say this to you, but... I have the right connections. They live inside my house. They have blueberries. My house is in that direction. This arrow. Be careful. Oh, thanks, sir. Thank you for this sign that I don't think was there before. Was it? Okay. Okay. What's this? There's no smoke coming out the chimney. This must be the ant's house. Well. This seems to be open but very stuck. Well. I'll see what I can do about that. I just axed the door. Ooh, a door handle. to handle big problems. I'm gonna keep it. Alright. Tea time. Hmm, glue. I want super glue for the attachment. 
The queen of meat. Yum. Someone forgot to clean the brush. What's this? Underpants? Thought ants never cooked their meals. There's water in the sink. Cute little lamp. Don't want this. Now I can take it. Yummy, yum, yum, yum. Let's see this bed. I wish I could sleep with my kitty on this bed. Is this a door? No. Well, I guess. What? The blueberries. Ow, oh, that hurts. What is this? Sorry, you look so angry. Why, oh, you're very rare. Stop it. I need those blueberries. What? Those were not ants. Wait, hold on. Maybe if I... Uh... I'm not taking that bag. Not with all those ants on it. Um... What about some meat? Hmm. Oh my goodness. A pest exterminator and he's dead! It worked. Now this bag is mine. Examine it. Anti-bug sign. The bag is open. I can't, like, use it? Oh. A rat trap and some sort of card. I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna use this on the pine cone. Yes, I will. Yes, I will. Won't do. What? Can I use it on you? Can I use it on baby pine cone? Nothing, of course. What was I thinking? Um. Oh, wait. I need to put it on the floor. Yeah, and then I try to take it. Hehe! <laughs> I need those berries. <clears throat> what? Now the mom is hitting me? What am I supposed to do? Baby pinecone. What? Oh. Just like that. I just had to push over the baby. <laughs> I didn't even know. That is so that is so messed up. Okay, I'm just gonna leave. I'm just so upset. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave. Oh no. Hi. Waving. Yes, I'm definitely out of this. Wait, what? Oh, wait, wait, wait. I wasn't taking the medicine. Oh, I think that's the point of this game. You don't even know what's real from... From from fiction, from reality. Alright, now I gotta give this one the blueberries. Here you go. Yum, yum. Oh... Uh, I don't like this. But I'm gonna have to... Uh, I don't know, like the sight of this. Wow. What? You're not my cat. Oh, miss, you saved me from misery. Good for you. But I was hoping to find somebody else. I assume you're feeling disappointed. Who are you looking for? Why, none other than my beloved cat. Oh, miss lady, I'm not very fond of cats. You can probably tell. A black one with big, very big yellow eyes was trying to catch me. My cat is also black. Wait, maybe that cat is my cat. Oh, lady, if he isn't, he's the one in trouble now. <gasps> Where did you last see him? Please. I can show you. Follow me, please. It's not far from here. Here we are. Somebody took a miss. They just disappeared. Be more specific. 
please? I wish I could. It looked like the earth swallowed them. If there's anything else I can do for you, just let me know. I'll be around. Um. Okay. Did you steal a hair comb? Oh, the hair comb. The shiny, beautiful hair comb. Can I have it, please? Alright then. But can you please comb my hair first? Now. Sure. I can comb your hair. Aww. How, uh, how wholesome. Thank you, my lady. You're very kind. I don't know about that now, but... Anyways. Let's get back to, to the heads and get the key. Let's get that key. Here's your comb. And the long faces. Here's your beautiful comb, misters. Aww. So happy. Oh, Fran, the person, you finally did it. Hope the key opens the door. Now we fly south at last. Goodbye. Oh, beautiful. Goodbye, shiny misters. Have a nice trip. The key is mine. I got it. Got the key. Can I examine it? Golden key from the tree. Yep. That's about it. I think this might be where the cat went. There's no hole inside. Make an entry. Uh. Oh, do I have to... Oh! Do I have to combine glue in the handle? Where should I paste it? Combine with this? Yeah, make a door? Now I'm gonna use the door and then use the key? Or, are you close? I made you. Yeah, I'm gonna use the key. It worked! Woohoo! What a curious little door. I wonder where it will lead me. Mr. Midnight? Are you here? Oh! Chapter 2, Part 2. Double Personality. Yep, this looks like a good time to save. Wait, I can't save. Oh my goodness, where am I? Please don't die instantly. Huh? What's this, a hat? Mr. Midnight? Oh no! Your head? Kitty? Wait just a second. This isn't my kitty. What a weird hat. Anyways, I have to find Kitty. I hope you're here somewhere. Now I can save. Yes! Oh, no, I don't want to go that way. Oh, uh, let's see. I won't lay down in that thing. Welcome home, beautiful kitten. We hope you like your new bed. Be nice and eat your food. Love, Clara and Mia. Who are Clara and Mia? Are those two Clara and Mia? It's fun to see what people have in their homes. Oh, I'll keep this to cook a lovely dinner for my kitty. Yum, yum, yum. What else can I take? Ugh, eyes. A head from a human. Skulls always look so happy. Maybe I didn't realize they're dead. I close the window so that the cold stays out. Painting of a teapot, cooker for cooking. Give me that. Cookies. Can I take the honey? No. Flour. Baking soda? Yes, I can take the baking soda. Pine cone? No, no, not that. Spoon? That rag? Spatula? Knife? Yes, I can take the knife. 
Okay, I can't take anything else. Let me get out of here. Firewood. Mr. Midnight. Those girls. They took my kitty! Are they conjoined? I don't like to be selfish. But that is my kitten. Okay, let's get out of here. I won't sit down. I won't, I won't, I won't, I won't. Okay. More things. Um... Bag, the beans, the salt. Yes, I got the salt. Uh, questionable. What is this? A seed. They take that, that. This, this. Yes, I could take the pip. I could take the pepper, not the garlic, not the olives, not the squirrel. Body parts. Mm, yep. Pretty standard. Pictures of meat. Yum. Window is locked. Picture of a bear. Looks questionable. It's a plant. It's a sink. Do I need to leave the sink on? Can I take this? Yes. To light up the darkness. Or just for fun. Can I get this? Let me use this. Get some water. No? Yes. Get me some water. Water, water in the pot, ready to cook. Here, let me just turn this off. I don't want to leave any evidence. Plastic flowers. Uh, let's see, the dining room. Ooh. Very, uh, very lovely room. Um. Tiny house in the middle of nowhere. That was a mysterious woman. I like the blue rose. Their faces look familiar, but I'm not sure. Is that a flying pig? Now I understand what the deer wanted back in the hospital. He wanted his head! Firewood. Cozy and warm. Ooh! A vase to put some flowers in. It has ashes inside. Chocolate cake, my favorite. That cake looks yummy. This is all yummy. Yummy. Should I go upstairs? Should I go this way? Um, let's head upstairs. Can I take this? Yes, taking things. This is not a. This is not a pretty picture for a house. Monster who likes ghosts. Sisters, they look alike. The drawer open. Let me see what's inside. Combine. Oh, no, no, no. I don't want to combine anything. Black candles. Hmm. Interesting. Um. Red rose in a painting, huh? Huh. A ladder. Perhaps Mr. Midnight is up there. I didn't think I could actually reach that, but, uh. Okay, let me just, uh... Oh. Why is it my reflection there? Hmm, it's that monster and so much blood! White candles everywhere. This looks like a very old painting. I wonder what the deal is with doll heads and roses. I'll lay down and sleep tight when I get back home. Water all around. Disturbing. Who caught you? Scary. These toys are ugly. Ugly, I say. Stealing tweezers. Can I take the lipstick? Nice stuff. Very girly. I guess I can't. Okay, now let me just... <gasps> I totally saw that coming. Totally. What? Let me examine everything first. Pretty doll. More pretty dolls. Beautiful. This creepy ca- Oh! Oh, hello, little babies. Sold you two together. That hurts. Okay, goodbye. Are you waiting for Easter? 
Mr. Midnight, are you here? Kitty? Meow. <gasps> I found you. My goodness, it's you, my beloved friend. I found you. What? Fran, is that really you? Oh dear, finally. I can stop meowing. It's me. Come closer, please. Let me see you. Oh, Fran, I'm so happy to see you. I missed you very much. I had dreams about you. And here you are. Thank you for not giving up. I love you, my friend. Oh, my lovely kitty, I always knew I would find you. I love you so much. Oh, dear Fran, how did you find this place? After those people took you away into the woods, I tried to follow them. But after a while, I got lost. My senses were too weak to track you. I tried to catch some food to recover, but... Something happened. Somebody took me and put me in this cage. <sighs> My dear, I'll open this cage. We need to get to Aunt Grace. Fran? I'm very tired. I wish all this was just a bad dream. Everything's going to be fine. We just have to get out of here. Fran? Can I ask you something? Sure, Mr. Midnight. What is it? Did you feel my presence in your dreams? Um. Yes, I did. You told me to take the medicine and find you. What medicine, Fran? It wasn't really me talking to you. I think somebody was helping us get together. Every time I had dreams about you, I felt the presence of someone thing else. A presence? From what I felt, it wasn't human, but it was really peaceful and kind. Well, whatever it is, it's good, and it brought us together. Fran? Did you hear that? Did you- Oh, I'll- I'll see what it is. I'll try and find the key to, to free you, alright? I love you. My cat. Okay. Let's keep exploring, see if we can find this, uh... Oh, you scared me. I thought nobody was living here. There you are! We were waiting for you. Where's your head? Uh... What? My head? My head isn't just the right place. It's you, the precious being from the other world. Who would ever believe us? <laughs> what are you saying? Can't make sense of what you're saying. Frambo, that's your name, right? And your mom and dad died tragically. It was very brutal, right? Just, just bringing it up. Now you really want to know who killed him, right? You're scaring me. But, slow down. How do you know all this? We simply have to know. We are part of this world. But don't be sad. Bad things happen to all of us. All the time. I wish I was at home with mommy and daddy now. Don't wish for things that can't be done. Find solutions and answers. <sighs> yeah, but the pain I feel is so great. I can't see any solution. Drink some tea and eat some cake. It'll make you feel better. What? I demand answers. Who told you these things about me? Are you scared, little Fran? Um, yeah. But I'm also confused. I'm just curious, that's all. Mostly I'm confused. You haven't asked about your cat yet, Mr. Midnight. That's very odd for a girl who loves her cat more than anything else in the world. Yet, you look so calm after finding him in a cage, hungry and scared. Shouldn't it be us trembling in fear of you? I'm not calm. I just wanted to introduce myself. I'm not a rude person. You want him back? I want you to unlock the cage. He's hungry and thirsty. Please. Before we set him free, tell us how you came here. It's a long story, uh... I escaped from a place. A very ugly place. They opened the heads of children to find out what's wrong with them. Phil told me a secret and I was clever enough to find the way out. And then I came into the woods and met a giant ant. And I killed a bug and it was terrible! And then I met a rat who wanted to get his hair done. And then I made a door! And that door took me here. But when I entered the door, something happened. I don't remember anything else. Oh, and I saw a real pinecone family. That was before I came here. 
They live in Mr. Antonio's house. They like berries. Oh, and I saw flying insects that got stuck in trees because they have long hair. That was also in the woods, and now here I am looking for Mr. Midnight. That was some adventure. How old are you, Fran? I'm 10 years old. But I'm going to turn 11 soon, and you? We're 16 years old. Much older than you, so you have to obey us. Uh, I just wish you would open the cage so I can go home with my kitty. You haven't even asked our names. That's not polite. And you shouldn't wander around someone's house without permission. Are you stupid? A stupid little girl with no family at all. Aw. Oh, my bad. I didn't mean to be rude. Are you crying? Because if you are, you'll get in trouble. If you don't do exactly as we say, you and your cat will die. Do you understand? Uh. Sure. Yes, ladies, I'll do whatever you need. Good. Now listen to us carefully. We need you to perform a magic spell on us. Do you like magic? <gasps> yes, Annie also did magic, but she had no idea how to actually do it. Anyway, this magic is very powerful and dangerous. Here's the recipe. Be careful and precise. Otherwise, terrible things can happen. Um. Interesting. Summon the old lost body. Lost in darkness, lost in tears, your body becomes alive through the hand of one angel that decides to bring you sorrow. You'll need the heart of a frog, of course. The head of a young virgin. Yep. Hair and blood from a black cat. Pentagram of ashes and the burnt body of a fox. This has to be cooked together inside a pot with a, or cauldron with plenty of water. When you're able to drink the potion, repeat these words. I'm not even gonna try. Uh... Why can't you do it yourselves? Uh, we can't do it. It would kill us. You see, we weren't like this before. We used to be two different people in two different bodies. So, you mean you weren't born like this? One night, a long time ago, something appeared before us. We thought it was an angel, but it wasn't. He decided that we should spend eternity together. He cursed us to be like this. We never understood why. We have a spell to bring him back. But we'll do that later, when we're no longer attached to each other. And show him that he's powerless and he will regret it. <gasps> that sounds very scary, but I guess I have to do it for my kitty. We're gonna gather some things you'll need. In the meantime, you can go talk to your cat. We won't set him free yet. Don't even try to open the cage. If you help us, we will help him. Thank you. I'll go talk to him. And Fran, do you see this key? Can you imagine what can be opened with it? Can you? You silly, silly girl. Ha ha ha. Hmm. Hmm. Give me some of that. Should I? Maybe just a little? Mmm, delicious chocolate cake. Yum, yum, yum. I think I also need to eat a cupcake and then I get the achievement. Yay! I'm so hungry. No one will notice if I eat one little cupcake. Okay. Alright, I think I got the achievement. Can I just go this way? Uh. Um. Burning candles. Hello? Oh my goodness, the smell! Who are you? Oh no. Chance. Oh, what ant? Owls and cats are a bit alike. Oh wait, I did it. There's an ant from the woods. Could be him, only a bit younger. Oh, record player. I wonder if it works. Many books and things on the shelf. Typewriter and it works. Am I like allowed to go out here? No. Oh wait, I think I was supposed to go this way. Uh. It's him again, but I haven't taken my pills. Well, 
He opened the window. Thank you. But who is he? Of course we're gonna follow it. A rusty old bike in the middle of an island. Hey, you? Yes? Who's speaking? Me. I'm a toad. I have to tell you something. Uh-huh, what is it? You are in great danger. Don't trust the girls. Huh? Why do you say that? Look, girl. I'm a toad. And I know I can swim away from this place. But they won't let me. Every time I try to get out of here, I magically return. This house is like a huge magnet. A toad and cat magnet. They love us. But not to give us love. Just to use us. Don't trust them. That's terrible. That's why my kitty is here then. They gave you a recipe for some kind of magic, right? How did you know that? Did you see the dead girl in one of the rooms? Well, that could be you if you try to do it. She tried, but she did it wrong. <gasps> but what should I do then? I'm not a clever toad. But if I were you, I would be creative. Huh. Creative. I'll try my best. And girl, please save us all. I really want to get out of here. Oh, a plank. Mm, I guess that's it. A big rock. I'll leave it there. Pink roses. Ow. Bad roses. Oh, I think I have to, um, try this next. What? Oh, you seem fresh. Are you alive? Oh, I see you're very comfortable there, little baby. Uh... Can I get out of here? Maybe I shouldn't have, uh, taken the pills, but I've gotten this far. <laughs> I can't get there from here. I need a bridge. Can I use this? Yes! Let's try this piece of wood! Okay, I can't lift it. It's too heavy for me. Yes, wait. Yes, wait. Can I combine... I won't even try that. Can I use this on this? Yes. Yes. Uh. I'm gonna then climb back down. Oh. What? Are you? Uh. Okay. Oh, that burn! Why? There's no fire. Can I use this? Oh, I got the paper. This is so exciting. What does it say? Okay, revealing the suit soul. I'm not gonna read all this. Uh, all these things. Um. Okay. time to get out of here. Alright. Now I think I gotta, um... I think I have to plant this. Plant this here. Ooh! Can I take it? Yes, this is nice. Yeah, I don't think I would have been able to, like, figure that out. Um, I had to, like, read the guide. Okay, now the next thing that I have to do is I have to go to the typewriter. No. To go to the typewriter and change the old thing. Old recipe. Hehehe. <laughs> hair from your head. Okay. Fran, here are the materials you'll need. Have you studied it? 
Yeah, but I need more time. I can't remember all the words. Well, learn them. Let us know when you're ready. What? What is that? Psst, I think you need help getting rid of that bag. I can do that for you. But I might need it. No, you don't. Trust me. If we want to get out of here, that bag must disappear. I'll take it. You didn't see me. Uh. Uh, okay. Okay. We're waiting for you, Fran. Yeah, well, I got this. <laughs> Look, there's something missing. I couldn't find your hair in the bag. Hair? You say? No hair is needed. Look for yourself. It's written down here in the recipe. That's true. How can we miss that? All right. Ooh. There, now get prepared. I'll let you know when I'm ready. <laughs> um, Froggy, help me. Um, okay. I think I need to go to the kitchen. Um, why is this painted black and white? Um, that's not important right now. Oh, man. I didn't want to do this. Ah, no, I don't like that. That hurt, but now I have some of my dripping blood. Um, now I just need this for the stove to light it up. Fire! Okay, then I've got to put this pot on this here stove. All right, I've got that boiling up. Uh, uh, uh. Put this in here. I hope it- uh, no. I don't like that. Okay, salt and pepper. Throw all the salt and pepper. The hair. Okay. And the rose. Into the pot now. And now I gotta take this. Throw it on there. Okay. Wow, this worked. Nice job. No, I don't like this. Oh, wait. I did not use this. Put a candle here and the others over there. Okay. Candles are lit. Oh. Show the girls that this potion is ready. Um. Okay, bye. Bye, you didn't see me. Okay, everything is ready. Let's go to the kitchen. Okay, great. Uh -huh -huh. Nothing to see here. Okay, please sit down and close your eyes, ladies. Yikes. Okay, now she's saying the words. Wait, you tricked us. Uh... Well, that just happened. Um, but this isn't right, and yet I got a key. Okay, let's get out of here. Open the cage. I can't. The key doesn't fit. Did you see another key hole somewhere else? I don't know. I have to look around. I'll be waiting. What? Is there something in here? Huh? Um... Oh wait. Yes. The key. 
A key was for this keyhole. And what's that, a puzzle? Oh, nice. Except, I don't know. Mechanical thing, it rotates to maybe some sort of engine. Phew. Finally figured it out. Think I got it. Uh. Sister, promise we, Clara, Mia, Blimit, Bahamut, promise her eventually unfair destiny of Torzo, Blimit, we promise can bring our bodies back, we won't stand this any longer, even though we're sisters, we hate each other, we we'll always hate each other, nothing will ever change that, but now with our bodies attached to each other, we can't complete our tasks, strong as we for ever, we can just die. Oh no. Oh yikes. Oh, they have medicine too. Oh, not the baby. Oh dear. This must be the quiche. The key to the quiche, finally. Ooh. Oh, the sisters have a huge scar in the middle. Two at a doll. Must be old. Blue rosette. I like it very much. And the pink one, too. Okay, now I can get out of here. Now I can get out of here. I think this is the key. It worked, my dear kitty. It worked. Come out, let me hug you. Yay. So wholesome. All oh, this feels so good. I'm free, Fran, my good friend. Okay. But now let's get out of here. Yes, let's go. Come on, as fast as we can. Yay, we found the kitty. Let's go back to that toad. I did it, Sir Toad. The girls are gone. That's perfect. Now I can leave this place and return to my family. I want to do that too, sir. I finally found my kitty. I just want to go home now and be with Aunt Grace. But how will you get out of here? There's no boat. Well, you're, you're gonna help us get out of here. I would love to help, but I'm too tiny. Even though my body's malleable. It would be impossible to carry you both to the other side. Let me think about it. Don't leave us yet, please. Okay, I think if I... I'm supposed to use this. On him? The toad. Take this, toad. It may help. I'm not a bakery bun. But you're all slimy and soft like dough. You're right. In my work. Here it goes. <gasps> it worked! I'm so big and I feel gorgeous. Great, let's go. Come, Mr. Midnight. Sure, Fran. I only have one complete. That giant toad is staring at me. Um... What are you talking about? He wants to help us, that's all. Alright, if he tries anything, I'll scratch him. That's okay, but try not to hurt him too much while we're sitting on him. The water is deep and we don't know what kind of creatures are in there. If we fall in the water, we could, uh... We could die, kitty. I promise I won't scratch the toad. Let's go. Hey, girl, before we go, I forgot to give you something. I saw you in this picture, so I thought it was yours. What? And this book was with it, too. Oh, toad, you found my family photo. Thank you very much. I thought I lost it forever, but the book isn't mine. Oh well, take the book as a gift. It's always healthy to read. It has many pictures. Oh, I can read the pictures! Thank you. I like pictures. So let's go now. Yes, here we go. Hold on tight. Hooray! What? Oh, I have to, um... I gotta cross this. Can I just, like... Am I supposed to jump in the water or on the log? Well, let me see. That's the log. Oh. I'm not supposed to jump into the water. Yes? Yes! Yes! What? Is there no way to just, like, switch course? Okay. 
Okay, okay. Okay. Yes. Huzzah! Okay. Can do this. Alright. And jump. No, wait, don't let me die! Okay. Phew. And real quick. Whew, I did it. I did it. Here we are. Jump off me now. Let's go, kitty. Well, now it's time to go home. I hope you find, find your family soon, Sir Toad. Thank you. You too. Farewell. Goodbye, sir. And thank you for the ride. Well, Fran, what should we do now? Find the way back home, kitty. Do you see the sky? It's dawn, and really soon all the scary things will disappear. Ugh, I'm so hungry and sleepy. I want to go home now. Me too, kitty. We'll find the way. I'll do my best to help you, my dear. Let's go. Oh, kitty, what's the first thing you'll do when we get home? Eat, of course. Eat until I fall asleep. And you? Hee <laughs> hee. I think I would like the same. Oh, yeah. Let's get out of here. Wow, what a tree. Oh dear, this bridge looks pretty scary. Oh, Frank, come on, we have to go home. There's no time to be afraid now. Yes, but I'm a bit afraid of heights. Um, I can go first, all right? Then you follow me? All right, kitty. You're so sweet. I'll be right behind you. Okay. Following the kitty. Oh no, wait, I'm supposed to follow Kitty. Fran, wait! What? Oh. No! My dear, I can't hold on anymore. I don't want to die. You won't. My friend, come on, you can do it. Jump! Alright, here I go. I got you. No. Don't be afraid, Fran. We always fall. And after the pain, we will always rise. Oh dear, Aunt Grace, don't ever leave me. Cry, my little girl. Your heart is pure, but your mind is tormented. You have to stay and walk your own path. Um, please, Aunt Grace, why won't you just take me out of here, please? You're gonna leave me all alone like my mother and father did. I'm sorry, my dear Fran. You will understand soon. Grace, no, don't go, please, pl please, please don't go. Fran, it's time for your new medicine. Happen. Where am I? Fran, where are you? Oh, the cursor is a little paw now. What? Is that a face? Ah! Oh, what an ugly tree. I scratch you, evil thing. Kitty? Kitty, stop it. What are you talking about? Fran? My darling, is that you? It can't be. What is it, my dear? Of course it's me. Who else would I be? Fran! You are a tree. Don't be silly. Help me get up. Wait just a sec. Where are my hands? Why can't I move? I'm telling you, my dear. You've turned into a tree. 
What? But how? Oh my dear. This is the end of the line. The big monster did this. I know it, Kitty. He won't let us go home. I hope he doesn't come back. He was very scary. He always comes back. I think I remember him from that night. The night mom and dad died. Kitty, I don't want to talk about it. I just want to go home. But you were a tree, my friend. A tree. I can't carry you all the way back home. Besides, I'm not sure where we are either. Am I gonna die, Kitty? Tell me. Please don't say that, friend. Don't leave me. But I feel so weak. What? What? No! Ah, be careful, sir. Why are you attacking me? Could you please tell me where I am, sir? Okay. Stop it! I'll scratch you. What are they saying? Oh my kitty, why is this happening to us? Stop attacking me, please! I mean no harm! Kitty, help me find my purse, please. Maybe we could do something about us. Let's see what I can do. Stop attacking my friend, Carrot. Friend's dress. Can I scratch you? An old vegetable sitting on a boat. Oh, there goes the purse. I see my friend's purse. Yes! I have to reach it somehow. Wait, what? But I just did. I refuse to expose my soft, beautiful fur to water. Cats be like. Um. Oh. Just sleep in now. Um. Oh no. Don't do that. Stop attacking my friend. Oh dear, I hope you found the purse already. I found the purse, but I can't reach it. Why not? Do something. It's a bridge and lots of water, and the bridge doesn't work properly. Yeah, well, that's just perfect. Well, make it work. I can't really help you. Mmm. There are some round things that keep rolling back. Well, do something so they won't roll back then. Smart. Smart. I'll take this stone, it's shiny. It's in its mouth, oh my gosh. Let's do this. And then let's... Can I put this here? Yeah! Now let me get it. There we go. We got it! Because I, I got the purse. Only because I am the best. Please, sir. No poker. Look at this picture. What? Where are you taking me, sir vegetable? They want to help you, Fran. I can feel it. Don't be afraid, my friend. Kitty, stop them, please. Don't leave me. I'll be right here with you. 